Welcome everyone, this is Like It's 1985. In today's review, I'll be taking a look at the Gundam Astray Blue Frame. Uh, this is the high grade 1 to 144 scale model kit. And this kit is a quick build. It only took me two and a half hours. I did it uh, tonight after work. Um, those of you who watched my pre previous videos know that I'm really partial to the, the, you know, the, the Astray Frame uh, mobile suit design. So uh, I was really excited about building this and it actually was a pretty, pretty fun build. It was quick. Now on to articulation. Uh, the head is on a ball joint, although there is no polycap. And the head does have really a, a wide range of movement. Um, so you've got that. Uh, you've got the, uh, the blue joint here between the arm and the shoulder. Go like that. Up and down like that. The shoulder does rotate, 360. Uh, the arm itself can go out like that. And it rotates at the upper arm and you get a pretty nice bend like that with the uh, elbow and of course the wrist is uh, on a ball joint no ab articulation uh, you do get waist articulation as you can see ball jointed legs slash hips uh, there's not a lot of uh, skirts to get in the way so you can go like that back out bend at the knee and you have a ball jointed ankle, of course. Now the, the foot's kind of different because if you extend out the foot, you actually get a kind of a hyper extended ankle, as you can see there, which does allow him to kind of pose in certain ways that, that are, are useful. Uh, as far as his accessories go, first thing I'll mention that I really like this, I don't know why it is, blue poly caps. I don't know why I like that. I guess because it matches the blue theme, but I just Somehow I just like that. It's not really an accessory, more so it's just kind of point out uh, one of the features of the of building the kit that I like. Uh, you get the shield with a sticker that uh, you can apply there. Now these parts here, the central mold of plastic as well as these pieces here, they need to be painted blue. I just didn't have any tape. But you can see how it looks like uh, without uh, the blue on it. And it doesn't look like that too bad, I don't think. Uh, you get uh, uh, this rifle, very simple, just snaps together two side, two pieces of plastic and the uh, barrel. You do get these uh, pretty nice beams and you get the bazooka with the trigger finger hand as you can see. Um, so that's pretty cool. These two beam handles do come out and they do attach to the beams. Now of course you get stickers for the eyes you get a sticker for the top of the head and another green sticker for the back. You do get a red sticker at the waist section here and two metallic blue stickers for the uh, pelvis area. A sticker on the shoulder and as I mentioned before a sticker on the shield. Now the high grade uh, blue frame model kit uh, does stand pretty well next to uh, for example the Sword Impulse Gundam high grade uh, model kit. Uh, however, when you compare him to a double O model kit uh, in the high grade line, he really looks smaller than maybe he should. Now, even though the uh, model kit is small compared to some of the other high grades and other lines of uh, Gundam, I, something about his size or, or something really appeals to me as far as just reminds me a lot of, of an action figure. Uh, you know, back when I was a kid playing with action figures, you know, as an actual kid and not a collector. Uh, but somehow this really uh, appeals to me on that level. I don't know why that is. I guess it's the size of the the model kit. It's just the, kind of the, kind of the right size for for an action figure that uh, that I recall playing with as a kid. So I have to say I really like this model kit. I got it at a good price. I think uh, wouldn't pay any more than I did. But uh, this is a this is a very nice uh, model kit for the price. And of course you could uh, certainly uh, you know for the price army build this thing as well uh, to have a whole army uh, of, on display. So. Thanks for watching, everybody. This has been my review of the high grade 1 to 144 scale uh, Gundam Astray Blue Frame. And one last piece of uh, business before I let you go. I have this kit. This is the Gundam uh, Throne Eins uh, model kit uh, from Gundam 00, the high grade. And it's built, but unfortunately, I'm missing a piece. Uh, I'm missing the piece as pictured here in the manual. Uh, this gray, soft, kind of flexible uh, plastic here. I don't have. 
Now, uh, my question is, would you still like to see the review anyways of this uh, model kit? Uh, I was kind of debating in my mind whether to do it uh, since I've been, you know, I don't have the one piece that's uh, missing. But let me know, comment please, um, and I'll, if you, uh, somebody responds and said yes, I'll go ahead and review it.